How's everyone doing today? So good to see you. Today I'd like to share with you a book. It is called The Day the Crayons Came Home. It's an awesome book and it's the second book to The Day the Crayons Quit. And we read this one, oh, a few weeks ago. So I'd like to share with you today, ah, The Day the Crayons Came Home by Oliver Jeffers. The Day the Crayons Came Home by Drew DeWalt Oliver Jeffers. From the creators of the number one best-selling book, The Day the Crayons Quit. With permission from Philomel Books. The Day the Crayons Came Home. One day, Duncan and his crayons were happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail. <gasps> Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. <gasps> you only colored with me once to draw a scab, but whatever. Anyway, you lost me two years ago in the couch. Then your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I never would have survived had the paper click not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come get me. And can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your marooned crayon, the maroon crayon. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas, not even... No one likes the color green, pea green, so I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent, the crayon formerly known as Pea Green. Hi, Duncan. It's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great vacation we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly you do not, because I'm still here. How could you miss me? Anyway, after eight months waiting for you to come back to get me, I guess I have to walk back. Your left behind crayon, the neon red crayon. Duncan, it's us, yellow and orange. We know we used to argue over which of us was the color of the sun, but guess what? Neither of us wants to be the color of the sun anymore, not since we were left outside and the sun melted us together. You know the real color of the sun? Hot! That's what. We're sorry for arguing. <gasps> you can make green the color of the sun for all we care. Just bring us home. You're not so sunny, friends. Yellow and orange crayon. <gasps> hey, Duncan. I'm sure you don't recognize me after the horrors I've been through. I think I was. The tan crayon, or maybe burnt sienna? I don't know, I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug, Duncan, and it's not pretty, not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. Can you please bring me back? Your undigestible friend, tan or possibly burnt sienna crayon. Ooh, that was weird. <laughs> Let's see. Dearest Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. Oh, 
Look at this one. Hey, Duncan, remember last Halloween you told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall. Sure, that was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come get me. I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scared friend, the glow-in-the-dark crayon. And these are all addressed to Duncan's bedroom upstairs in the house. <gasps> Again, Duncan's room, Duncan's house. Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, France, I think. Just crossing New Jersey by camel now. <gasps> pyramids, giant pyramids, right? See ya soon. Sign the neon red crayon. P.S. Next stop. The North Pole, I think. Oh my goodness, he is traveling. <gasps> Duncan! Does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you I'd make me blunt and if you colored each coin individually, but would you listen? No. I also told you those stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that also? No. Now I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend, the gold crayon. There's Esteban. <gasps> Dear Duncan, I've seen the world and it's rainy. I'm coming back, Esteban the Magnificent. Hi, Duncan. You're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sack. <gasps> A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. <gasps> Can you please come get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell after it's washed? Your stinky, socky, stucky on head buddy, the turquoise crayon. P.S. Sock says hi. Yeah. Uh oh. Dear Mr. Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon. I know I belong to your baby brother, but I can't take him anymore. In last week alone, he's bitten the top off my head. He put me in the cat's nose and he drew on the wall and tried to color garbage with me. The worst part is he is a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are. Donkeys, monkeys, donkeys, monkeys. Picasso said every child is an artist, but I don't know. I don't think he met your brother. Please rescue me. Your desperate friend, the big, chunky, toddler, purple crayon. Oh. Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest. Making great time. I think I'm almost home. Signed, the Neon Red Crayon. That doesn't look like the Amazon to me. <gasps> Hello, Duncan. It's me, Brown Crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everything, everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs like candy bars and puppies and ponies. Lucky me, right? Bet they don't know what else you used to color me with, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great, but did it really need that final brown scribble? Right there. <gasps> I'll come back, but please, let's stick to candy bars, okay? Your very embarrassed friend, Brown Crayon. <gasps> Look at all of these postcards. Duncan was sad to learn all the crayons that he had lost, forgotten, broken, or neglected over the years. So he ran around gathering them up. Duncan's crayons were all so damaged and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fit in the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. He built a place where each crayon would always feel at home. There's no dogs down there, are there? 
No, no turkeys either. Oh, you flatter me, but it's not real chocolate. Let's have a party. This one is from my blue period. <laughs> But it's not really blue, it's more lilac, said Pink. Look at all this neat stuff. Now all the crayons can live in here. Make sure it's straight, he says. I think that door is for us, yellow and orange. Ah, oh, oh, there you are, I could use a haircut, says the pencil. Oh, look at the dark green is drawing with the light green, a teddy bear. Oh, who are you wearing? Oh, I think he goes by Ted. I'm Ted, said the sock. Looks good, lads. Look at that one. I like that one. <gasps> nope, there's a metal detector. Oh, he's got a good pencil sharpener. And no, I think everyone is welcome. How cool is that? Really neat, big place for all the crayons. <gasps> and then in Cleveland, I got to hike the Great Wall of China, says the neon crayon. <gasps> That was great. She's with Esteban and they're seeing the world. Very neat book. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Miss Nambo signing off for now.